Hey guys, I just wanted to talk about the cases that you saw in the video today. Um, so Analog Cases sent me these cases maybe two weeks ago and I've had a little bit of time to kind of mess around with them, take them to a few places. A little background on the company Analog Cases. I don't know where they're based out of. Analog Cases is a company based out of Los Angeles, California. They make a custom case for just about any equipment you could think of. They have like mini log cases, they have the electron case, they have 404 cases, push cases, I think they even make keyboard cases. E-commerce. So in the video you saw me take the 404 case to the park. I really like the 404 case. I don't really have much to say in the negative about it. It's got a really nice pocket on the inside for extra equipment to go like I stuck headphones in there there's even a little space on the top of where the 404 would be where I was able to fit my field recorder which made taking the video really easy it has a really smooth zipper the outside is kind of reinforced so it's um, it is fabric but it is really sturdy and like I would not worry about my 404 for a second I think if I was to add anything to the 404 case it would be like a little zip pocket on the outside or maybe even just like an elastic thing to throw like your adapters or maybe like a couple guitar picks something like that just a little extra pocket on the outside so you can keep it a little more organized. Now, who is the 404 case for? I would say if you own a 404, you might as well just buy this 404 case because the 404 is like such a portable instrument. Like it's designed to have you take it places. Like this basically will inspire you to take your 404 out to the park, take it to your friend's house, um, not be like me and like throw your 404 in the backpack for like five or six years it'll keep your 404 looking mint so definitely invest in this case i would recommend it to anybody the push case is fantastic i really like how it has a hard shell cover because the ableton push 2 is definitely a serious investment so you would want like a really nice case for it this one does not fall short it is like hard reinforced aluminum with a plastic coating on the outside so i would not be worried about dropping it or like tossing it in your car. It has a really sturdy locking system on the outside that you can actually like lock with a key. Kind of like a guitar case has that little key lock. Yeah, I really like how the top of the lid has like this eggshell foam and it like pushes down on your gear. So anything you put in there is like held in place. I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro that doesn't fit in like the laptop compartment. But if you watch the video, you saw like it kind of works out okay because it sits on top and then the push sits on top of that. And then the eggshell cover like holds it all super solid. And I tried it out like shaking it around and my computer and the push stayed in place. So like that's a plus. But as is, you can actually fit extra cables underneath. So I don't know. It's something to think about if you are looking into buying one of these. Cool, so that was my review of the analog cases, uh, Ableton push case and the SP404 case. If you guys kind of like this gear review format, I'm happy to do more of these in addition to the Beats with Arbor videos. Just leave a comment like letting me know what kind of gear you want me to review and I'd be happy to check it out. Um, aside from that, yeah, look out for new videos every Monday from now on and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks.